Hello, today I'm going to show you what is going to happen if I remove project from the teams or if I remove the whole team. For this purpose, first of all, I'm going to create a brand new team and I will call this team, let's say, from scratch and it will be public. I will uh, call it my test team. As you already know, when I create a team after a while and I have this nice work message, I will skip this part when I can give a name for a group and the group will be uh, created with the my test team name. So I will skip it and now I have my team created. Let's go back to, to Microsoft Admin Center refresh this page with active groups and I will see my test team group. Okay, let me create a project. Not here, but in Teams. So I'm going back to Teams. I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to wait for a while and I will have a project here and I will create a new project like this and I will say Create new project. Project created in my test team. I will click save. I will soon have my project. And now, after a while, I can start to building my project. Let's create three tasks very quick. I will remove quick look column. I will say that they have duration one, two, three days. I will put depends on, let's say, task one. And here, task two. And I will assign task one to John. Sorry, John. Another task to Mary. And third task will be assigned to, let's say, Ellen. Everything looks fine. Now I can see here my project. Everything looks great. Now, if I go back to the original file, so I can here see my project as well, okay? First, what I'm going to do, just a minute, so I'm going to see project creating my test team. First, what I'm going to do in Microsoft Teams, I'm going to remove the project. So I go to Teams and I can go here and I can say remove. If I remove project, it will only remove move, move the tab from Teams. Your project will not be deleted. So my project is not going to be deleted. I can't see this project anymore in Teams. But if I go back here, I can see this project and all tasks are here. So first, be aware, when you remove a project from the Microsoft Teams, it will not be deleted. That's one important thing to know. So nothing will be lost. But that there is another thing. What if I delete or remove the whole team? So I'm going here and I will say here, delete the team. Am I sure that I want to delete my test team? All channels, conversations, files, and Microsoft 365 group for this team will be deleted. So let's say they are, that I accidentally says, Okay, I want to remove a team. 
and I am going to delete the team. What will happen now? You can see in my admin center that the group doesn't exist anymore. And let's go back to projects, all my projects. And I can go here to my project, which still exists. And I can add some tasks. Okay. I will add task four. And I will say, okay, let's do it with Peter. And I will have no results fine. Or I can say Mary. And you will see, so, sorry, something went wrong and we couldn't complete your search. So be aware that when you accidentally or on purpose delete the group which is connected with the project, then you will be in trouble. That group can be deleted from Microsoft Teams, as I showed you, or it can be, be deleted from Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So whenever you delete the group from existing project, no matter from where you delete that group, you will have a problem with Microsoft Project for the web because all resources which you use are in group, except if they are guests. And guests are something which is completely new, and I'm going to show you that in my next video. But for now, be aware, when you delete the group, you can see here, group is project created in my test team. But this group doesn't exist anymore. Because this team doesn't exist anymore, then if I want to add a new task, and for example, add John, I will have a problem. So please do not delete a group for the existing project. Never, ever. I hope this helps and uh, I wish you a pleasant day and uh, goodbye until my next vlog.